Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a review for the new Bravo Conditioning Primer. Now I actually got this as a free sample from Ulta. Ulta had in their, they send out like a, like a book to, to your house. Like if you sign up for their rewards program, you usually get like a book every once in a while and they had a coupon that you redeem in store for a free Bravo conditioning primer by Benefit. So I, um, I did, I have been using this for about a week now and okay, so I wanted to give you my review on this. First of all, I want to say I love the packaging. As you can see from the top here, it looks like a little gem, almost like a diamond cut. I think that is absolutely adorable. And what you do is you pull it up and it has these little um, like rubber bristles and you click, like you twist at the bottom to get the product to come out. You only do one click per eyebrow. So you click, apply it to the one eyebrow, click, apply it to the other eyebrow. Now, um, my one thing about this, it, first of all, it's a good size sample, which I was really happy about, but it took me like 20 or more clicks just to get the product to come out at first. So I had to just, I was like sitting there just like twisting, 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 and then finally like literally like 20 or 30 clicks it finally came out, which is fine, but it took a while. So just if, if you are purchasing this or getting it as a sample, just know that it takes a while to get the product out. But after that, you just click it up one time and it comes out. Now, um, let me just read to you what the product says it will do. So it's supposed to condition. Brows instantly look fuller, thicker, and healthier. And two, it primes. Wear under brow makeup to enhance color and extend wear. Now, I have to be honest with you with number two, I've never had an issue with my brow makeup not like needing to be enhanced or needing it to be extended. Like usually when I put on my brow makeup, it, it stays all day. I use a special julep, um, which I'll link it down below if you guys want to use that one as well because I have not had an issue with it. It's a julep one, um, which it's like a double-sided one that has a brush on one side and the product on the other and you dip the brush in and I've never had a problem with it. So using this product, I can tell you, Right now, I have not noticed a difference in terms of it being a primer that has made it last longer for me. So that one didn't do well. It didn't do that. Um, and for conditioning my brows, um, instantly looking fuller, thicker, and healthier, I did not, unfortunately, I've been using it for a week, and I did not notice that when I put it on or even just, you know, during the week, this whole week, that they look any thicker or healthier. To be honest, um, when I did put it on, they look okay so they look wet at first and then they felt kind of stiff and they even like I'll come in closer but I have some makeup on my brows so they might look a little bit fuller but they like look stiff like pieces are like curling like it's harder for me to tame them when I'm using this product believe it or not like my brows were like sticking out and like looked stiff so unfortunately for me it didn't really do what I was expecting it to do. Um, I'll read the other side for you. It says, custom soft touch applicator. It evenly coats brow, hair, and skin. It contains keratin and soy proteins known to help brows look thicker, healthier, and fuller. Clear gel suits all brows. It is a clear gel, um, but it did, again, it didn't make my mind, didn't, they don't look thicker, unfortunately. I mean, I was hoping, um, for a little more, but it, it didn't make it look thicker for me. So I probably wouldn't be purchasing this again. My one thing too is when I swiped, I noticed like some of my brow hairs got pulled out and were actually sticking to the little rubber, like little rubber nodules or whatever you want to call them, the little rubber balls there. And so I ended up having to pat it on like that in order for it not to pull my hairs out. When I would swipe, 
I would get hairs um, pulled out. So, which is obviously the opposite of what I was trying to do because I want to make them look thicker. I don't want to pull my hairs out. So I actually had to pat it on. I am going to finish the rest of this product um, because I want to see if I notice it. You know, it is a large sample size. So I do want to see if using it over a longer time period, if I'll notice thicker brows. But for now, um, I didn't really notice thicker brows and it didn't really help enhance makeup. I mean, my julep, the julep one I use does a great job for me already and it stays on long. So this unfortunately just didn't give me the results I was looking for and I personally would not recommend it. But if you're able to get your hands on a free sample so you can try it out and see if it works for you because you know every person's different. Something that might not work for me might work really well for you. I did even check Sephora's website and the reviews were mixed. Some people had reviews like mine where you know they were kind of like this isn't working for me and then some people were like wow this is like my number one favorite new product ever so um you just have to try it out and see if it works for you thanks so much for watching